The overall aim of this procedure is to visualize the detailed morphology of Drosophila larval dendritic arborization neurons. This is accomplished by first collecting embryos, aging them, and generating GFP-labeled genetic clones by heat shock-induced flippase expression. The second step is to select larvae with fluorescent neuron clones and take an image of their dendritic arbors. After imaging the larva, they are dissected, fixed, and immunostained so they can be mounted and their dendritic arbors and axonal terminal morphologies can be visualized through confocal immunofluorescence microscopy. Today I will demonstrate a protocol for morphological analysis of Drosophila larval peripheral sensory neuron dendroids and axons using genetic mosaics. This method can help answer key questions in the neurodevelopmental field, such as what are the genetic programs that control neural identity, dendroidic arbor shape, and axonal wiring. Begin this protocol by collecting embryos on apple juice plates. The heat shock is delivered in a 38 degrees Celsius water bath and the duration varies according to the embryo genetics and desired clone sizes. For this protocol, generate Markham clones from embryos with a pandendritic arborization neuron driver. Before the heat shock, keep the Markham embryos at 25 degrees Celsius surrounded by moistened tissues for two hours. Prepare the collection plates for heat shock by making them submergible using empty plates and parafilm. Then, heat shock the Markham embryos for an hour to generate small clones or single neuron labeling. 